Welcome to the online video homework for topic 6.8, Carbonyl Reaction Type B, Introduction to Nucleophilic Acyl Substitution. Before attempting the problems in this homework, I do recommend that you read Lesson 6.8 in the Organic Chemistry 2 Primer 2018 by Professors Tennyson, Hujiri, and Smith. Our first problem is asking us to provide the major product of the reaction shown below. And it pays off to examine the general reaction for nucleophilic acyl substitution. In these types of reactions in general, you identify a nucleophile and you identify a potential leaving group which may need to be activated in some way. And the net result is that that nucleophile replaces that leaving group. And in this particular reaction, we see a carboxylic acid and our nucleophile source must be the only reagent we have, the thionyl chloride. Now just like in reactions we've seen of thionyl chloride reacting with alcohols, the chlorine is going to be the nucleophilic piece. So it's going to end up replacing some leaving group on the carbonyl species. And also drawing an analogy to what we saw with alcohols, it's the OH that can be activated by the thionyl chloride to be a good leaving group. So if we think about what will happen, the thionyl chloride will react with one of the oxygens, and that's shown here, and the chlorine will attack, and that replicates the first step that we see in the general nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism. The next step is that, that activated leaving group will leave, and that will lead to the formation of the acid chloride shown here. The next reaction is quite similar. We see a carboxylic acid. We think about the general nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism. We identify something that can be activated to be a leaving group, and we identify that the chlorine part of the phosphorus trichloride will be the nucleophilic entity. And we would say, well, the net result is going to be that the OH in this case is going to be replaced by the chlorine, so we'll get an acid chloride again. If we think about this one step at a time, we'll have an activated oxygen so it can become a leaving group. The nucleophile is attacked, that replicates this first step. And then, once we eliminate this activated leaving group and reform a double bond here with loss of a proton, we'll have the acid chloride. Another type of nucleophilic acyl substitution covered in this lesson of the primer is the reaction of a carboxylic acid with an alcohol in the presence of an acid catalyst. And we'll again take a look at the general nucleophilic acyl substitution mechanism. We have to have something that will be a leaving group, and in this case we're going to have the OH with some acid reacting with it to make this into water, potential leaving group, and the nucleophile will be provided by this ethanol. It's the O ethyl group part of the ethanol that will be the nucleophile. So we would expect the net result would be the OH of the carboxylic acid would be replaced by the ethoxy group part of the ethanol. And of course, under acidic conditions, you won't have a negatively charged oxygen. You'll have an OH group. If you had an O minus, it would get protonated as it was forming. So once the nucleophilic piece attacks from the ethanol and you've protonated this O, you can then further protonate one of the OH groups, doesn't matter which one, they're equivalent at that point, so that it can leave as water. And that's how you get the ester plus the water. And you're going to drive the reaction to the right, remember these are reversible reactions, by adding an excess of that ethanol. And here's another type of problem, a multi-step problem. And it's asking you to provide the major products for each step of the sequence shown. And if we look back at our previous problem, we formed an ester from a carboxylic acid. But remember, these reactions are reversible. So if you take an ester with an excess of water, you'll push the reaction back to the carboxylic acid and the alcohol. So here's the alcohol we form. And here's the carboxylic acid, which came from this piece after you pick up a proton to go on that oxygen from the acidic media. The other important point from this problem is the alcohol you form has a chiral center right here. And our reactions are taking place at the oxygen, not at this carbon. So this retains its configuration. The next step is reaction with an excess of thionyl chloride. And we know from the problems in this lesson of the primer that the reaction of thionyl chloride with a carboxylic acid will lead to an acid chloride. But we should also remember that thionyl chloride reacts with an alcohol to form an alkyl chloride. And that happens by a SN2 type pathway. So we should invert the stereochemistry at this chiral center. So the products we should get are, in both cases, for the carboxylic acid and the alcohol, replacement of the OH with a Cl. And remember that in the case of the 
alcohol, we do an SN2 reaction, and that's why I've indicated inverted stereochemistry at that center.